Hello everybody, Jay Barino here, continuing StarCraft Master Recall of StarCraft Brood War Remake and StarCraft 2, continuing Overmind. We're gonna watch the Warp Cinematic, and then continue on to the Invasion of Ire. Let's go! Let's check it out. High Orbit, Terran Dominion, Border World, Char. I honestly do not remember that music being there. If they added it, I suppose it's a welcome addition. But yes, that's pretty much the entirety of the Zerg Swarm heading over to Ire. So let's let's go there ourselves. The Invasion of Ire, Zerg Swarm, Ire, but over Protoss, Homeworld of Ire. I've been a little uh, hesitant to start these missions just because they're very time-consuming. This one in the last mission, uh, pretty challenging too. I'd put them near an eye for an eye. It really just depends on if you're prepared for the enemy attacks in certain locations or we can end up in a situation like we did with the culling. Let's hope not. My children, the hour of our victory is at hand. For upon this world of Ire shall we incorporate the strongest known species into our fold. Then shall we be the greatest of creation's children. We shall be... perfect. Yet before I can be made manifest upon this world, the way must be prepared. You must seize the Kaderan crystals, for within them lies power undreamed of by the Kotas. Go now, my Cerebrate. Secure the crystals and bring swift wrath to all who oppose the swarm. Sure thing, big overmind. Bring a drone to the Kaderan crystal formation. Once we get there, I think it's a 20 or 30 minute timer that we have to hold out as well. Sacred Kaderan Crystal Site. Ire. <laughs> I remember specifically when I recorded this for version 5, and in the background I said, I see that Reaver back there. Fuck that Reaver. And you know what? The sentiment still stands. Fuck that Reaver. I hate Reavers. Alright, let's go. Let's get going here. I'm a little nervous. Not really nervous, but it's just sort of one of those things where if you don't perform well, you have to restart. I don't want to have to restart. Planetary uh, planetary Profile Ire. Again, you can pause and read this or play for yourself and check it out in your codex. Let us continue, though. We do have a lot of cash. I like that a lot, so let's use that to go ahead and grab an extractor and probably just... What, what, what's happening here? Get mine in here and uh, just go ahead and get a second hatchery. And I think I'm going to get it over here to help spread the creep and so that I can have a bit better mining prospects here. I suppose maybe putting it up here, the trees would have blocked the way. So, as I've been saying in previous missions, uh, unless absolutely forced to near the end, I do not plan on going mass mutalisks for the whole map. I think it is fundamentally boring to both play and watch. So I really don't want to subject people to watching me slowly wipe the map with just air forces. I mean, I think air forces combined with ground forces is fine, but when it's just, I'm gonna rush to a bunch of mutalisks and win the map, uh, unless you're in a situation like the last one, where it's very, very hard defense to try to survive to get to Mutalisks. I don't really find it particularly engaging, even to play. So, really, that's that's reserved for the hardest of missions, where I feel like I have to do that to win, because otherwise, uh, my laziness gets the better of me, and I can't focus enough to actually complete the map, so. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get a fast Hydralisk den now. That's D. So that way we can try to get to some fast lurkers so that those can defend us pretty well against early Protoss attacks. We're going to need a lot of Hydralisks. We're going to need a lot of lurkers, eventually into Mutalisk Guardian with the Hydralisk support, and just a mix of ground forces. Zergling, Hydralisk, Ultralisk is going to be sort of my my mix of forces. Perhaps some Defilers here or there. I'd honestly rather use the Defilers to defend myself than to use to attack. Uh, specifically because I'm sure that the enemy's going to be coming at me with large groups of scouts 
both scouts and uh, carriers, so I just want to be prepared for that, and arbiters, I should say, so we just want to have that Dark Swarm up and ready. Theoretically, that should help us. I can't say for sure, but I really hope that that would be the right answer. Or we just make a ton, ton, ton of units. We would need a lot of units. All right, let's wait for the creep to spread a little bit more. There we go. We put this down. This will also help continue to spread the creep. So there's a few extra bases to take on this map. And by a few, I mean they're all over the place. And it really just depends on how thorough I want to be before I go for the crystal. Because there's basically Protoss bases all down the middle of the map. One big one on the left, one big one on the right, and one that's across the entire bottom of the map. So, uh, once we get to the Cater and Crystal, we bring a drone to it, and then suddenly a timer starts, and the enemy will just start flooding attack waves at us. So my plan is to pretty much clear the top side of the map, go for the Crystal, leave the bottom side up to at least leave a little bit of suspense as we continue the map and wait. Because that's pretty much all it's going to be, is waiting. And then, hopefully, be in good shape. Alrighty, so we're mining now, and... Really, it just depends on what I want to go and attack with initially. I'm thinking we just make Zergling Hydralisk. There are going to be some Reavers or High Templars for Storm, so we have to be a little careful. A just a little careful. Not super careful, but careful enough that we don't just throw away uh, our initial attack. And obviously, I'll just go ahead and save before we do it so that a disaster doesn't turn into a mission ending. In fact, I'm going to save now because I feel like I've had a good start here. Let's go ahead and start some upgrades. Metabolic boost is going to be a good start, though I may just want to save a little bit of money so that I can get more so that I can get more colonies. Now, I also expect the enemy to be coming from down here, so it'll be good to at least spread the creep to be to keep an eye out, which I expect an air attack to be coming from down here. Ground attack through the front door, air attack coming from below my base, at least until we take the next uh, the next uh, main group. It's a lot of zealots. That is really a lot of zealots here. Gotta keep my Hydralisks alive, try to keep the... Never mind. Alright, let's make just let's just make Zerglings and try to hold on here. Oh, I have one Zergling left, so I'm making Zerglings, uh, which should be able to clean this up no problem. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't get those Lurkers out fast enough. One Lurker on top of what I had there would have been probably more than enough. But as you can see, the attacks come quickly, and I just wasn't directly prepared. So let's just get in there. We can use these Zerglings to pretty quickly and easily kill some Dragoons, I think. Uh, unless we don't get a good surround on them, like that. So let's go. There you go. Maybe not. No, we still we still can't quite get on top of these things. This is truly embarrassing right now, Zerglings. You're, you're embarrassing yourselves. Okay, so let's get some Hydralisks that we can turn into Lurkers and eventually attack with as well. And we'll move the Lurkers up and have a consolidated defense. Uh, once we get up there. So, we have Metabolic Boost coming up. Let's get a Queen's Nest. Never mind. We really don't have money for that to tech up too much right now. Let's just focus on, well, not being supply blocked too much in the future. Let's just get some low-level upgrades and try to just defend ourselves without losing too much. Look at this Bengalis. It's a nice little, uh, nice little doodad there. I don't think that was... Is that... I think that's a custom critter. I really think it is. That's cool. Okay, we're mining well here. I'm just going to wait for my overlord so I can turn these into lurkers. Oh, that's interesting. So, are these going to immediately start morphing? They do. Okay, that was an interesting little thing there. Let's get a few extra colonies. We're going to spread them out because I expect reavers. So, I think... I, I wonder how much space I need to leave such that the, uh, the splash damage doesn't hit all of the other ones. We will find out, but let's try, let's try to space these out a little bit. Metabolic boost is just about done. Let's go ahead and grab another evolution chamber... Some extra drones, because we're, we're going to be shifting these drones to other locations eventually anyway. The Lurkers, in my opinion, are going to pretty much exclusively exist to kill Zealots. My Sunken Colonies and Zerglings and Hydralis can take care of pretty much anything else. I mean, if we have to run on top of a Reaver and lose a bunch of stuff, we'll do it. I'm not thrilled about that prospect, but we will. Now, the rest of my money is going to go into drones, and it's going it's going to go into actually getting real units. I feel like we're pretty good. We're going to be pretty well defended with this group of stuff. Uh, air, anti-air is going to be an issue, but that's why, I mean, we'll eventually just be getting more and more Hydralisks. We should be fine. Wow, okay. That is a lot. That is a lot of scouts. All right, back up. Try to lure them into my other, my units here. Okay, let's try to focus fire. That is a lot of scouts. Run away, friend. I'm going to try to keep alive what I can. My single spore colony is doing a lot of good work here. Oh, oh, run away. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, larger attacks. Again, these, these attacks... It, 
Frankly, look, it really comes down to this. If you've practiced these maps, this really wouldn't be too bad. If you're going in mild, like mostly blind, I would say I'm mostly blind on these maps at this point. Uh, it's it's much more challenging because I have no idea what to expect. If you know, you can plan for exactly the timings of these types of attacks. It's not that bad. Unfortunately, like I said, I have not really prepared besides my play, which was over a year ago at this point. It's been over two years at this point. So I, I really don't remember. I just have a vague idea. Oh, they're probably going to send an air attack soon. But frankly, I don't I don't know when. Uh, I didn't realize I built one spore colony. I had no idea there'd be a large group of scouts. I was even talking about it before they came. Either way, the point is um, I wasn't prepared, and there's no way I really could have been. Unless I practiced, and, you know, I don't... I don't really find that as fun <laughs> um, to know exactly what's coming. Honestly, I like having a general idea, but I, I, I would much rather um, have it be mildly blind. I think that's much more enjoyable to play as well. Unless, of course, I can't win, <laughs> which uh, we almost had that situation with the culling. We might have enough to go and push out with this force. I'd like to just get a big group of Zerglings as well. We're, only, we're at 34 supply of Zerg. That's really not good at all. I really need another base. I can't sit on this base for too long. We need to... I think I need to get uh, pretty risky and move out and try to make something happen. So we're going to do that here very soon. I could also get a Spire to supplement this forces, try to pick off High Templar, pick off Reavers with Mutalisks. That may be the right choice. And again, once we secure that area, we'll move up with the Lurkers. But we have to be careful because the enemy will probably attack us down here. Maybe with drops, I don't know. And then they'll also continue to attack our new base that we take. So it's it's a, it's a tricky situation. Let's get in there. I feel like I, I may have hamstrung myself a little bit with the placement of these colonies under the trees. Okay, let's go ahead and get a hive because I would like to get adrenal glands. Though it's not necessary for me to move out. I really just need hydralis speed to finish. Let's get a big group of zerglings. We're going to have plus one completed, so this is good. I can go ahead and replace one of my sunken colonies. We're going to need also... I feel like I've had more drones than this. Where did they all go? Also, we'll eventually be getting more and more hatcheries, so that'll be nice. Okay, lots of zerglings. Uh, I'm going to quick save and see if I can take these units. The enemy also just attacked me, so if I'm lucky, they just they won't be coming at me right away again. And let's just go ahead and keep rallying up. What is the enemy at right now? They're 1-1, they're one, one, not 1-1-1, one, 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 though. <laughs> okay, I'm expecting a Reaver. I'm expecting a High Templar, probably. So let's just do as much damage as we can while we wait for some other units to move on up. There's... Ugh. Spread out. Okay, well, that actually saved a lot of my Hydralisks, interestingly enough. Okay, let's scoot on down, kill the probes, and then move on up and see, is there is there any sort of robo bay that would be rebuilding this stuff? I don't think so, actually. Okay, you back up. Attack. Let's get our Zerglings in here. Our Zerglings are actually going to do a lot of damage in the background, which is wonderful. We can get Adrenal Glands. We can start getting plus two. And let's get a few more Hydralisks. We, well, yeah, we just need Hydralisks, and then eventually we'll come on down and take this base. Not a lot of minerals, but there's another base in the upper right that we're going to take. Here comes the next large... Here comes the, I think, semi-large Protoss attack. We might, Let's just back up. And yeah, see, this is a different color. This is yellow, so it, that green base is virtually gone. But let's just draw these into Lurkers. We built them for a reason. Let's not just carelessly lose all of our stuff. Losing a couple Zerglings. Oh, that's a High Templar. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do it again. Kill him. Okay, that was... Terrible. That was very, very bad. All right, so let's move on up. When trying to... There's another Reaver, too. Gotta kill that thing. That was interesting. The Scarab completely bypassed my uh, my Zergling. So this is what I was talking about uh, it many times in many other videos. You can see the enemy is just relentlessly rebuilding to an obnoxious degree, and all of that stuff is gonna come back. So pretty much my entire first attack is moot, and we have to try to get down there and stop them from reinforcing all that stuff again. And again, so I'm actually going to move the Lurkers up. Probably just move them up here and burrow. Okay, as long as that Lurker isn't back, and I don't... Or not Lurker, Reaver isn't back, and it shouldn't be. Okay, and we've got the Reavers in the base. Large Scout attack. 
from a different Protoss faction. So let's see if we can get some more Hydralisks out at home while we continue to attack here, because I'd like to finish this base off. And send a drone down to take it as soon as possible so that we can spread the creep and set up some defense. That should be fine right there. These Hydralisks should be able to come in here and get rid of these. Trying to keep some of these alive. Gonna lose... Probably gonna lose one or two Hydralisks here. They're trying to retreat. I know orange comes with very, very large, annoying attacks. Okay, make the hatchery. Get up here, get rid of all of this stuff. We're gonna make some Zerglings as well. Move up with the Lurkers. Here's the robotics facility down here that needs to be destroyed because we don't want to see more, more uh, Reavers on the field. So let's just depower, well, we can't depower it actually. Let's just kill it. And it's, you know, and it really comes down to when's the next big attack gonna come. Let's get two more lurkers, actually. Okay, so we've gotten rid of the threat of green. Okay, and the, I, I should be able to safely take the upper right base. I should be able to safely take the upper right base. There, there's, as far as I know, the Protoss both leave it alone, and there's nothing there to defend it. So I'm pretty sure that I'm just safe to take it, no problem. Okay, now we have to try to set this base up without getting absolutely annihilated in the process. So let's uh, set these lurkers up. Uh, actually, let's spread them out in case there are reavers. We can move them out a little bit as the reavers come in. I'm pretty nervous about a carrier or two starting to come in pretty soon. I need a lot of drones. Well, let's let's throw this down first. There's, oh, there's more gas up here too. Yeah, so we're, we're going to struggle a lot with minerals. The layout here, again, is really shitty. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Okay, we've got all four of these. Let's go to make drones. We need overlords. That's okay. So we've got a big group of stuff. We're going to spread it out. Because, I again, I anticipate Reavers from a long way away. I'm going to leave my units pretty far back, actually. And we need overlords. Okay, so... I need to remake a big group of spore colonies here, like a big group. Now, it's possible that the air attacks that we've seen coming are going to be completely diverted to this base now that it's up. I don't know. I just don't know. Now that we have a hive, I can get defilers out, which I think are going to be necessary at least to defend our, ourselves. So let's go ahead and get the defiler. The defiler nest, den, defiler something. Okay, and we're going to want to get a few colonies here as well. Well, and by a few, I mean we're going to get a lot over time. But I don't want to lose this base and have to retake it later. So that's why I'm going to be pretty aggressive with taking it. Okay, this is this one's just about done. And I think I want to get more Hydralis. The next, the, la the previous, or er, the most recent enemy attack was a while back. Which really concerns me. I am going to go ahead and get my third evolution chamber. I want to go ahead and get these drones working more. To this area. Okay, let's... Sunken colony, spore colony. And again, I'm spreading them out because I'm expecting reavers. Let's do this, and then we need more to turn these three into spores, which is going to be 150 total. I just want to get all of those to feel a lot safer. Let's go ahead, turn these into spores, and then make a batch of drones to saturate this. Eventually, we'll saturate the gas, but we don't need it right now, and I really can't afford to do anything out of the ordinary. Here's my defiler nest. Interesting little... Oh, you know what? I think I built it on top of that doodad. Or is that just... Or is that part of the model? That might be part of the mo... No, I think I... I don't know. I don't know what I did. Alright, so there's reavers. Spread out, spread out, spread out. Just move away. Force it to shoot what's on top of it. The lurker will kill it. My goal with that is just don't lose a bunch of stuff to, to Reavers. So they are going to continue to come at us with Reavers, and they're coming from that angle. So what I can actually do is just move the Lurkers out just a little bit so that as the Reavers squirm in, they're going to take a little bit more damage, and then we'll kind of layer the, the, the Lurkers just a tad. Okay, go ahead and do this, and then let's go ahead and get a big round of drones up here. Next step is, well... Probably want to get those defilers and have a group of hydralisks here to use. Here is the large air attack that I had described. The carriers look great, I want to point out. I'm less concerned about the scouts, and this is exactly 
what I expected to happen is I'm going to lose all of my Hydralisks to this type of attack. So that's cool. They rebuilt that Photon Cannon. That's fun for me. Okay, come on up here. Zerglings, kill that. Ooh, they're, ooh, they're chasing. All right, get out of there. Get out of there, drones. And I thought I built more than that. I thought I built more Hydralisks. And here we go. We've, we're going to lose this expansion right away, which is exactly what I expected because I didn't make that Defiler like I knew I should have. Okay, well, let's, let's just focus on this base then. Let's go ahead and get a Defiler. And I'll retake this. I mean, I'll just retake this eventually. I might be able to hold on to it if I can kill the scouts. Back up. Never mind. Scouts are doing more damage than I ever remember them doing. <laughs> Let's get a bunch of Hydralisks. I'd like to start plus two. If I can get down there and save that hatchery. Damn it. It's... Oh! 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 Get... Get it! Come on. Come on. Hold on to it. This just means it's going to go down pretty much as soon as <laughs> anything else happens. All right, you guys move on up here. We've got the Defiler. I need you to move down here, and you're going to be hotkeyed as well. Okay, let's go in and get Metasynaptic Node. Uh, oh, apparently I started plus, uh, plus two and three. That's good for me. All righty, let's go ahead and rebuild some of these drones because we transferred them. We've got our superhero Defiler who's going to be very important later. Let's make sure our new drones start rallying to the correct spot. We don't need that much gas, but we'll go ahead and saturate this. My lurkers are going to be fine against ground units. It's really needing a lot against air units, as we've seen. Our mineral income is going to continue to improve, I think, though. So that's good. Let's just get a group of spore colonies that can survive a little bit longer than last time. Okay, let's move on down here. And here comes a big ground attack. <laughs> All right, get out of there, Defiler. They can see my Lurkers. They're storming my Lurkers. Two of them are dead. All right, High Templar's down. I mean, I expected them to be able to see the Lurkers, right? It's just... They're they're there mostly for Reavers, and it's it's possible the Reavers are going to start, like, squirming up after um, the main attack groups. This will slowly heal. It's going to be a while, though. I need uh, an Ultralisk Cavern, and we get some Ultralisks, and we move out, and we start taking the next enemy base. The next enemy base with Jay Barino. Defiler, you're probably going to stay at home and just help me defend. We will need more gas now. Now now gas is the goal. We don't have a lot of it, but we're going to need more. Okay, I think, I think this will be proper. And we're going to need a big boatload of overlords eventually. Let's go ahead and get Pneumatized Carapaz when we can. Perfect. Now, it seems like the prim like primary enemy attacks are going to be coming from this particular spot. So, I just want to be mildly prepared moving forward. Again, we've got better income now. It's not the best, but it's better income. Really nothing of queen upgrades that I could want. Plague is fine. It's not really something I'm particularly interested in, to be honest. I don't think we're going to need overlords for anything. I really don't. I don't think there's a single thing we need overlords for against Protoss. Oh, oh, well, I mean, if they have Arbiters. So in that case, getting the Ventral, or getting the Pneumatized Carapace is really not a bad thing. And just in case, I'm going to make one Spore Colony over here. There's our Ultralisk Cavern. This is not correct. We should not have these upgrades for StarCraft 1. Actually, I think it's possible that they purposefully added them, but I frankly am not sure off the cuff whether that's purposeful or not. So I suppose we won't use them. Let's go ahead and get some Ultralisks. Five Ultralisks, and then we'll spend the rest of our money on Hydralisks. Ultralisk Hydralisks, that will eventually be 3-3. I think I'll push out to the left, and then meanwhile I'll get a group of Mutalisks and or Guardians to start taking out this stuff that's on the high ground so that I can reinforce a little bit better. So real, it's, it's just saving my money and getting ready to do an all-out assault very, very soon. Uh, I may want to bring a... Defiler? I mean, as long as my Zerglings and Ultralisks stay alive, the swarm is good. Otherwise, Zealots will just kill me underneath the swarm. I like the Ultralisk Cavern model. Okay, not a large enemy attack for a while, which means at any moment, at any moment, that's why I'm going to get a bunch of Hydralisks right now. Here are our Ultralisks. Plus three for everything is just about done. We're going to have plus three melee. 
I've got my spires. One of those is going to immediately become a greater spire as we start making a mild air force to deal with the upraised crap. Why can I not? Okay, there it is. I was like, why can I not make this? Single defiler, you're going to be important. All right, get in there. This is the Dark Swarm. Dark Swarm is out. My Hydralisks are invulnerable to pretty much all of these attacks. We're going to kill the Arbiter, and we're just going to kill the Interceptors, too. Okay, let's move in with the Hydralisks and start picking this stuff up. Now that we're plus three, and my Hydralisks aren't all dying, we're in really good shape. Honestly, this would be a great time to go and attack Orange. So let's get a bunch of Zerglings, and quick save, and see what we can do here. Let's see if we can push into orange. Now, there's going to be a bunch of crap, <laughs> right? There's going to be a lot of stuff in this base. But if we can start making some progress, my Ultralisks can take the Reaver hits. There's two, there's two Reavers right in the front. One's down. Okay, I, I take it back. Everybody, uh Okay, get back. Dark Swarm right there. Kill the Reaver before it shoots again. Now we have to just kill this stuff. Okay, I was attacked. I was attacked at just the wrong time by that other group of units. And now that just means that Yellow is going to be able to rebuild all of their stuff. I'd really like to continue and go. I could bring the Defiler and Dark Swarm again, but I don't have enough melee to sit underneath it. Maybe? Let's go and try it. Yellow wants to rebuild. Absolutely not, sir. Let's keep an eye out for where that carrier was. Let's Dark Swarm right here. Move on under it and kill the carrier. All right, yeah, kill that uh, kill that Zealot before it can do any major damage. And we're, we did lose a lot of colonies here and my Lurkers, so let's rebuild some of this. It's very important, actually. Okay, let's grab these. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get in there. So here's, here's actually where their main air attacks are coming from. Oh god, kill it. Oh, kill those. <laughs> Alright, I think we've pushed through here and we can take this base soon enough. Meanwhile, you guys start making some mutalisks. And we can start getting these upgrades. More minerals. Well, we're going to be taking this base soon enough. Alright, so we pushed through. I'm, I, I feel like I recovered pretty well. That could have went worse, and I think I recovered pretty decently, considering how poorly that could have gone. Uh, as I was attacking, a giant Protoss attack wave came from elsewhere. There's the Arbital Tribunal. Looks pretty good, if you ask me. Okay, let's come on down here and take this base. We're on track to finish this pretty soon. I'd like to go and destroy the other side of the, uh, the Protoss base. These can all be Guardians. We can make def Devourers. That's wrong. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm just not going to utilize that stuff. Another pretty large attack, and unfortunately I wasn't there for it. Orange wants to rebuild everything. Color me shocked. Another Reaver, too. Kill it. Let it hit the Ultralisks. All right, get on up here. Oh, they destroyed the base. We need to get up here. Oh, don't, 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 don't lure them up there. All right, it's okay. We're here. All right, we're here. Orange is next. Orange is definitely next. Kill their probes. You guys stay. Got the guardians. Guardians start destroying pretty much everything you can up and down these ledges. Make some more mutalists to back them up. And we are going to rebuild this hatchery. We can't afford it. That's okay. Where are these coming from? Oh, you know, I think it's the same base. I think it's the base on the bottom side of the map. In fact, it definitely is. Everybody move on down here. We want to retain this area so that we can take it. I'd like to retake this base. I mean, it's not going to result in much, but I think it's worth it at this point. We need to remake the Lurkers, and we need to go and take out the orange base. As you can see... Oh, you bitch. They're constantly reinforcing this area, like nonstop. Again, I'm getting rid of this area so that I can progress more easily. Okay, so we're just going to sit here again and try to hold this area, and eventually I want to take this. So one of you drones, come on down here. I really am going to need the mineral income as we move forward. Not the gas, just the minerals for the most part. 
Okay, so let's do this. Now that whole top side has been cleared out. Now we also have air support to help us defend this area. I'm gonna take the Guardians. Oh dear. Let's go and get up there. This group, this this Protoss group is next, without a doubt. I'm trying to remake those lurkers. If, oh no, 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 you don't. No, you don't! Don't, don't let those motherfuckers rebuild. And they have. They significantly have. Let's go. Let's get over there. Decent amount of Reavers. Okay, this is very unfortunate. This is challenging to hold on constantly. That is for sure. Okay, so let's move on down here. Lurker, just retain your post. Get mining. This needs to finish. We need to hold on to this base and not allow them to rebuild it. So that means we're going to need more Hydralisks to defend against exactly this. I lost my hero defiler. Son of a bitch. Okay, yeah, you know what? That can sit there for as long as it wants to. Uh, defiler. Let's make two. Oh my word. Okay, what a nightmare. Once this is set up, we just set up a couple spore colonies and we're fine. Don't, don't go the wrong way, please. All right, yeah, set this up. We need more and more hydralisks. This is new. And minerals, but we do have a very large base. All right, back up, back up, back up, back up. We don't want to attack the carrier unless we absolutely have to, which will be soon. Okay, those don't have any energy, unfortunately. Okay, and soon enough, we'll be ready for that. How much until Dark Swarm? Oh, that's bad. We just need more Hydralisks, I think. We could, I could also make Scourge. Oh, I didn't, I didn't clean this out completely. I thought I had. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, and it killed my Defiler, too. I hate everything about this. Oh, there's a third one? What's this? Hmm. I truly hate everything about this right now. Killed my, uh, Defiler? That's nice. Okay, that's dead. Okay, let this do its thing, and then we just have to set up... Yeah, let that stuff run away. We'll set up some colonies. And we're just gonna make a butt-ton of drones, because we need them over here. And then let's move some units down here to take care of this. Can't really afford to lose this now. Let's let the... Guardians just peck away at this crap. Okay, and then let that be. We're gonna move back. I'm gonna rebuild my defilers. That hopefully just will not die immediately this time. Okay, looking good. We've got this set up. Let's make Spore and Sunken. That should be all we need. I'll make us an extra Spore. I'll make an extra one of both. And that should be good here to hold on to this. What a nightmare. This is about what I expected for this map, to be honest. My Guardians, though, are doing great. They are just gonna keep pecking away at this crap. So let's just let them keep doing their thing. Those Dragoons really want to get up there, but I will not let them. All right, we need Ultralisks now. So I just build a big bunch of them. Now, until we see scouts, uh, I'm fine letting these guardians sit here. I can always try to back them up and cover them, but for now, I think I think this is fine. If we can get rid of some of their production from the high ground here, this is fine with me. Rebuild some of those lurkers. We also need to make sure that we're prepared to respond when we're ready to defend the crystal, and we're not really even there yet. Okay, this is fine. Of course. <laughs> so what, they're 2-2? Two, two. We're about ready to go and attack. Let's get a bunch of Zerglings. Okay, yeah, this is what we needed, and we're going to take the other side, too. There's another base back here I actually completely forgot about. Probably would have been incredibly helpful. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move. Lurkers just stay. This was their next main attack. Actually, let's let's go over and, and destroy this. 
uh, Defilers, you're gonna get hotkeyed and move back. We don't even have enough for a Dark Swarm. I don't have enough Hydralisks. I just don't have enough Hydralisks for this amount of shit constantly. No, stop it. I And I can't really sneak through here. Let's just continue to peck away with the Guardians. As I, I mean, I either need enough energy or a butt ton of Hydralisks at this point. Let's go ahead and get plus two there. Let's go ahead and send a drone. That's okay. Well, I suppose this was expected. Do I have enough energy yet? Am I close? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Dark Swarm right there. I will kill all the interceptors, honestly, at this point. I don't want to move on. I don't want to risk moving out of the swarm. Okay, great. Hydralisks, do your thing. Turn these into spores. Why can I not turn these into spores? Oh, they already are. Whoops. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. And then we're going to immediately turn this army around and focus it at the other base. So everybody come on over here. <laughs> wow, look at those Look at those guys go down to the, uh, to the combined lurker fire. I mean, they can see them, but that was wonderful. Okay, good. Now come on over here. We're going to clean this up. We're gonna send a drone over here because there's a base over here that I completely neglected. Let's go ahead and get just lots and lots of Zerglings to help clean this up a little bit faster. And then we're going for the crystal. We have to go for the crystal pretty soon. This guy shouldn't have enough energy to do anything. Good, good, good. Okay, and pretty much once you take the crystal, all of the enemy just diverts completely to go for you. Yep, taking this way earlier would have been really helpful. <laughs> I didn't do it, I, I forgot about it, and I didn't scout it out, because I, I was confident that I had gotten rid of the enemy. Okay, very, very good. That's all done. Guardians, come on up here and just clean this up. To be final about it. The enemy still has a significant force over here. See, isn't this fun? When it's a challenge and, and all fresh and new and not just super easy because you know exactly what's coming. Okay. So that's being built. Let's go ahead and take another one down here as and then I'll just go for the crystal. Seems like I can build abnormally close to those minerals. Maybe it's an illusion. Okay, plus two's about done there. I'm gonna get some more mutalisks most likely to cover me. And we need minerals. So now all that's left is are the enemies that are beneath the crystal. Which are not a joke, and they're going to start attacking us very vigorously, which is why I'd like to make sure we clean this area out. Just sort of around the crystal. Our forces are under attack. There's an Arbiter down here. We probably want to kill that. We also probably want to bring up some Overlords in retrospect. We'll get Antenna. We'll move a bunch of these up. Okay, very cool. So, the enemy is going to be coming at us very soon after we start this. So, I want to get mining. Make sure that I'm mining from all of these locations. So, let's saturate this. Let's saturate this. And then be ready to start mining this. I'm going to grab an extra drone. And then everything extra that I make is going to come down here. We're just going to reinforce like crazy. Let's let's get going here, though. I'm going to quick save, and let's just start, because I really don't want to take any longer than I already have. We're at 49 in-game minutes, so this is going to be a slightly longer one. And we still have time to go. We'll turn you into Guardian. Oh, it's only 10 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we just need to be on the... We need to be really on the lookout for... For air attacks. That's really the main thing. So we need money. We're going to need more overlords to get us completely maxed out. So this has always been interesting to me. Because it's basically secure the crystal while it harvests. But if the Protoss get to it, that's fine. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But it seems to me like it's absolutely fine if the Protoss end up over here. Because there's nothing for them to destroy. Again, maybe I'm completely wrong there. Let's make a couple lurkers. We also be, have to be on the lookout for if they bypass me and attack my main base, and they very well might. Okay, so this is mining. This is mining. Let's go ahead and just make really just hydralisks at this point. I want to make sure that I'm covered against air. We want to move the defilers up. They've actually been pretty invaluable. But again, if the Protoss destroy all of this, 
I don't think it really matters because there's nothing for them to kill here. There's just nothing for them to destroy. Very interesting. Okay, so again, there are, there are two more Protoss bases that I'm not going to destroy. I feel like I, I should I needed to leave them alive to at least leave some intrigue to this map now that we've pretty much destroyed everything. Uh, harder than I originally expected, but now we're doing quite well, I'd say. Okay, starting plus three. That probably won't even finish before this is over. I'm not sure where these zealots are coming from. It seems like they may very well be spawned. Not sure. Okay, good. Didn't I? Yeah, I made lurkers. I guess let's just put them right here. Oh, God, kill this thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, fine. Storm on top of the lurkers, that's fine. Not on everything else. We'll make more zerglings and hydralisks and just bring them up to defend kind of the top area of the crystal. Maybe the enemy's dropping over me or something. I'm really not sure. And I can get a few more mutalists just to kind of flesh out this really uh, diverse zerg composition here. We have a little bit of everything. We don't have queens, but that's about all we're missing. Oh, eat shit. <laughs> So yeah, we'll just keep making more Hydralis due to that. Ultralists luckily don't take too much damage for the from the storm, but keep in mind, it does ignore armor. I really like these uh, retro mod guardians. They look very similar to how you would expect them to. It's like an interesting mix to what they looked like in original StarCraft, but then also kind of what they looked like in the cinematics. So I think that's very cool. Oh, I see they're reinforcing over there. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's just put these guys up here. And breathe. All right, we've got a bunch of mined out stuff here, so we can transfer these between here and down here. We're oversaturated those places, but we're in, again, we're in much better shape. Move on up, destroy this. Let's go ahead and get more Hydralisks. Let's just max out on Hydralisks at this point. Leave them here. And then you have to get the drone back. And I assume that once the drone spawns out of the crystal, the enemy's gonna send, like, literally everything they have. Oh, that did, he, that did not look like he had enough energy there. That really did not appear that way. All right, now we're, we're down to halfway, so the enemy's getting a little more uh, rigorous with their attacks. Seems like they're coming from the sides and not the, uh, not the, uh, the front like I originally expected. So let's spread out a little bit and make sure that we're covered. Get more mutalisks. Unacceptable command. Sure, sure. Maximum supply. Okay. So now we wait because I'm pretty sure I have everything that I need. I think plus three may very well finish before this is over. About an hour in game. This is about what I expected. This map is pretty grueling. It's hard to, I mean, when you take an expansion, specifically this middle one, you have to hold it. You really have to defend very hard at this choke. You saw the air attacks specifically are challenging to deal with before you get Dark Swarm. I mean, in fact, it, before I had Dark Swarm, I straight up lost to it when the carrier started coming. So it uh, really adds a nice uh, intrigue to these maps for sure. And you have to be prepared. I don't know how many times I can say it, but if you're if you're not going in blind, it really takes the fun, it really takes the fun out of it, uh, because you know to expect that. You know that basically before you take this base, make sure you have a shit ton of hydralisks or at least one defiler with some hydralisks. That's absolutely necessary. So as we move forward with the last Zerg mission, as we move forward into Queen of Blades, the sixth campaign, much further down the line, we will make sure that we have those defilers and uh, hydralisks ready. All right, this is going well. My hands are off the keyboard right now. I just applied some some chapstick. My lips were feeling a tad dry. So, but I, you know, I feel comfortable. I mean, we're gonna lose some stuff here and there to storm, but uh, realistically, we are we are good to go. Again, the defilers, uh, I feel like, is a mistake. All right, move on up and oh god, kill that thing! Kill that thing! All right, well. We're gonna replace all that with Hydralisks and move them on down here, and they're gonna clump up and get killed by Reavers again later. Man, look at this hero. Look at this hero right there. I never got Burrow. I don't, it's kind of a waste, but I'll, I'll get it. I'm gonna station the the uh, the Guardians kind of on the edges so, so they can hopefully spot the Reavers before they get to us. That's certainly a problem right now. We don't have the vision to see what's coming our way. Two minutes, 15 seconds. Let's go. Got Mutalus too. I, I have a mobile group of Mutalus. I just need to re remain hotkeyed. Okay, lovely. Lovely. Decent air attack, but we are prepared for it. 
Again, I'm not sure what these attacks would do if I had no units here. I wonder if they would just continue on and try to destroy my base. I truly don't know. Do we have plus three? We sure do. Yeah, so I think this took about as long as the last time I played it. I think it took me about 45 minutes. So I don't feel like it. this took longer than it needed to, because frankly, you, I, need, I, I think if I would have taken this base earlier, I could have saved five minutes, maybe ten, because I would have had that income to make the hydralisks I needed to to destroy those air attacks, which would have allowed me to destroy this base faster, namely, because we were really stuck in our base, uh, not able to get past those carriers that were sort of blocking my path. Uh, it looks like, yeah, we've got more than enough stuff here, though. I do want to bring some overlords down, because they're destroying mine. Okay, the attacks, though, are definitely ramping up. 36 seconds, and again, when the drone spawns, we got to be ready to get it out of there, because it is... It, it, it's it's going to be attacked, like, immediately. So, move these guys down here. Mutilus, this is your job. Guardian's doing your job. One of my defilers, I think, it just got killed. That's okay. We shouldn't need our defilers anymore, to be honest. We have enough hydralists that we can probably wipe out the three to four carriers that we can anticipate to see. Harvesting complete. Where are you? There it is. Okay, so let's grab all this stuff and, and sort of remain around the drone and leave my other units back as I expect the enemy to come and do kind of a suicide attack to get to the drone. Indeed, that's that's exactly what I expected. I will turn the defiler around. No, I have more than enough stuff, but let's let's continue this this on right here. Everybody attack except the drone, which we're just going to send to the beacon and that should do it. I can't imagine anything happening right now that would absolutely I mean, if that drone got picked off obviously, but I'm pretty sure we're fine. It's possible it also just drops on the ground and you can pick it back up. Alrighty, that was a tough mission. I would say maybe even a little harder than an eye for an eye. I think I overprepared for eye for an eye, so it wasn't as bad as I remember it. Cerebrit, the Kateran crystals are in our possession. Now. All shall tremble before the might of the swarm. We're coming for you, Protoss. Well, we're already here, but your your days are numbered. Scourge probably would have been helpful. I definitely had enough gas to support Scourge. I should have made Scourge rather than trying to spam Hydralis when things were really looking poor. That would have been the right decision, I think. Okay, one more mission left in Overmind. Looking forward to it. I kind of expect it to take about as long as this one. About as long as this one. Survival rate, 50%. I'm, I'm fine with 50%. Anything over one for a KDA and, uh, and a 50% survival rate is absolutely fine with me. That went about as well as I expected it to. Hopefully it was entertaining for you. And I'll see you next time as we finish up Overmind. Bye now.